you up to speed as you start your Wednesday morning. Bodies in boxes stacked on top of each other at a Valley crematorium. An unmarked warehouse is the home of the Saguaro Valley crematorium in Mesa. Back in 2015, bodies were stacked on top of each other in cardboard boxes waiting to be cremated. The owner says this was simply how things were done. The state funeral board disagreed, revoking their license and forcing the crematorium to shut down for 30 days. The crematorium does plan to reopen when that suspension is lifted later this month and the manager contends he will stay in place. The man who deliberately ran over three Phoenix police officers with his car at a gas station in 2016 has been sentenced to 35 years in prison. Mark Payne pleaded guilty to nearly a dozen charges, including three counts of attempted murder. The attack left one officer with a broken leg, another with a concussion, and a third with minor injuries. We have new details this morning after a Valley man was caught on camera stealing a kitten from the Humane Society. The shelter tells us the man entered the Sunny Slope campus and asked if there were any kittens up for adoption. He met with an adoption counselor. This is typically how this works. And when the worker left him alone for a few seconds, the suspect ran off with that kitten named Zeus stuffed under his sweatshirt. Call police if you recognize this man. Local church leaders are claiming they're being harassed for helping illegal immigrants. Several pastors and the Southern Poverty Law Center have filed a federal lawsuit against the group Patriot Movement AZ. The 32 page lawsuit alleges harassment along with trespassing on private property of local churches. Church leaders also claim they've been targeted with violence by anti illegal immigration activists. Now you're up to speed. You can always find the latest news on our website 12news.com and on the 12 news app.